Hey everyone, Kevin here, and I recently asked y'all in my Facebook group to show me some of your favorite altcoins. Long story short, I got a ton of recommendations and ended up buying a small basket of 10 to 12 of them that fit my very specific criteria. So in this short and sweet video, I'm gonna share with you which ones I chose, why now, my specific approach, some future outlook for the whole crypto space, and get your thoughts too. So if you're curious to hear more about this, you know what to do, just sit back, relax, and just keep on watching. Okay, so the first question is why now, right? And the reason why is because I wanna join in on all the fun that many of y'all are having already. More and more altcoins have been popping off lately, getting major double digit gains every day for like a week or two straight. If you take a look at some of the charts, some of them have been going 10X to even 100X in the past few months or up to a year, right? Like you have your obvious ones like Chainlink, but then even lesser known ones like Band Protocol, Travala, Elrond, Kava, and much more. So not only the DeFi space, which we know has been popping off lately, but other ones as well. This is really giving us shades of 2017. So I wanna be positioned to take advantage of another massive potential bull run. Before I made this video, my portfolio in the crypto space was just heavy on Bitcoin and some Ethereum as well mainly out of laziness because that's the easiest thing to manage, but also we just have the most confidence about the long-term viability and value proposition of Bitcoin first and then Ethereum number two. But with more and more people on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube talking about massive gains in their altcoins, I want to hop on the choo-choo train too and have some fun and cheer on these alts with y'all as well. So what is my specific approach though? Because I don't have the same approach as I did back in 2017 and 2018. This time I'm only going to choose alt on like Binance or KuCoin or Coinbase, the ones I use already, and set up a quick and easy bot to buy a basket of these altcoins all at once. So I only want coins available on these major exchanges, no more decentralized exchanges, no more managing 10 different wallets, exchanges, and all those different sorts of like ICO sites or IEO sites. None of that anymore, just to get random coins. The bots, there's many of them that you can use to manage this easily, like you have Shrimpy, Hotobot, or some other ones. And the coins I chose, I'm just gonna read off their ticker symbol and read them off quickly, but it's Sol, BIDT, Zill, Ocean, ELA, XTZ, XRP, Cody, Adam, Ava, ORN, Kai, Compound, Ampleforth, and Nim. These are the kind of random assortment that I chose out of the ones that you guys shilled to me. And I say that in a very endearing manner when I say shill because I asked y'all to shill them to me. And I chose these because ideally they have room to run, like 10 to 50x more room to run without them surpassing some crazy market cap value, like expecting them to get to Ethereum's level or Bitcoin's level. That's really unrealistic, even in the height of the bubble. So that is how I'm gauging the room to run. I'm also choosing them equal weighting, just to be very indifferent. Also, I am setting a pretty wide stop loss and a one to two week rebalancing period. This is just a small roulette bag I want to note. I didn't risk my precious stacked Satoshis for this fun bag that I'm playing with for these alts. Also next, I wanna share with you what I learned from last time around. First thing I'm gonna do is to encourage with all my other investor friends to take profits and take them often. Rebalance them into Satoshis or USDT potentially, but do hold some and just wait patiently for potential 10 to 50X gains rather than sell them all too quickly. So this way we can stop actively managing them so much and looking at my portfolio all day. I just look at it once, maybe not even every day. I'm not gonna be so emotional about it. That's why I did an equal weighted basket so I don't have to be a fanboy of any of these in particular. Just let the strategy or the bot do its work. This way, not a lot of FOMO or panic will come into play. So besides that though, I do wanna to touch a little bit on my future outlook for price action in terms of Bitcoin and these alts because I am a little bit worried about altcoins popping off too fast too soon. They need to take a break and chill out for a bit. 
let's remember how 2017 played out after all. That just seemed like a, yesterday, even though it was like three years ago. First of all, Bitcoin popped up to over 1,000. And then altcoins and Ethereum started popping off for over half a year. Then Bitcoin did its massive climb to all-time high, crazy amounts, 20K. And then after that, altcoins popped off a little bit more for a couple months more. And then everything started crashing. That was the market top. So ideal scenario this time around, what I cross my finger for is for alts to take a break right now and for Bitcoin to slowly start climbing to a new all-time high for a few months. So it slowly climbs, like a slow, gradual climb. And then Bitcoin would drop down and set a new area of support to like 12 to 15K, get some people worried if they bought in too high. And then it would slowly start climbing again past the recently set all-time high. That would be the ideal price action in my mind. Because in that case, people's fair price and their mental model of Bitcoin is moved up. Remember, we already had two full months of strong consolidation at the 9,000 level. So that's super confidence building at that level. Let's now do the same and hope for the same at a higher level. And then between that and after that, we can have some more volatility in terms of Bitcoin price action. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are about me buying a basket of alts and maybe you are already in alts getting a lot of gains or maybe you're not and you're sticking to Bitcoin, stocks, something like that. Are there any coins I missed that you recommend? Remember, they have to be on major exchanges and easy to get and have room to run. I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you join me in future ones where I just share my thoughts and what I'm looking at, what I'm doing in the crypto space. I'm Kevin for Bitcoin for Beginners. Please smash that like button, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you guys next time.